guided missile destroyers, frigates, cruisers, and the first nuclear-powered surface ship, the USS Long Beach, amphibious assault ships, and their Marines. Proud, dedicated men, proud ships, an answer to the President's question. Piped aboard the Big E. anti-submarine rockets are ready. An S-2F tracker is launched. Carrier helicopters also play an important role on the sub-hunting team. Submarines, such as the nuclear-powered Thresher, seek out their own kind in the depths of the sea. A land-based P-2V Neptune starts the show. Teamwork, skill, and courage are essential ingredients in this, the most exacting of naval arts. For anti-submarine warfare today is advancing rapidly on all fronts with improved tactics and new equipment to find and destroy the elusive submarine. Typical of these weapons is ASRA, a sub-killing missile. submarine's traditional enemy is the destroyer. These high-speed sub-hunters remain one of the most effective challenges to submarines threatening our sea lines of communication. Carrier surface-to-air missiles are fired at a drone. Enterprise and Forrestal now turn into the wind to launch aircraft. Each of these floating airfields has a sphere of influence many hundreds of miles in diameter. Spheres of influence which can be moved where needed, when needed. There are no fixed addresses in the fleet. 
demonstration of fleet air firepower by high-performance jet aircraft. The Navy's newest and hottest, the F-4H Phantom. The A-3J Vigilante, attack bomber of tomorrow. Within minutes, the four-acre flight deck is empty. techniques, new demands. are visible evidence of how carrier aircraft support directly amphibious forces over the beach or other combat troops farther inland. Thanks to all of you.